hello. In this video, we are going to derive the integrated rate law for a generic zeroth order reaction, and then we are going to derive an expression for the half life of this zeroth order reaction. So let's assume our reaction is a simple A going to Z. So the change in the concentration of A over time is equal to minus K A to the zeroth power. That's what makes it a zeroth order reaction. And since A to the zeroth power is simply one, this gives us that the change in the concentration of A divided by the change in time is equal to minus the rate constant K. If we multiply each side of the expression by dt, we get to separate the variables. We get that d of the concentration of A is equal to minus k times dt. And let's assume that the uh, initial quantity of A at time t sub 0 is equal to A sub 0. And what we're going to do to get the integrated form of the rate law is to integrate each side from t sub 0 up to the current time t. Each of these integrals is straightforward. So we get that we have the concentration of A on the left-hand side between the limits. And on the right-hand side, we have minus kt, again, between the limits of t sub 0 and the current time t. So here we're using the fact that the concentration of A at the time t sub 0 is defined to be A sub 0. We make the minor algebraic adjustment of adding a sub zero to each side. And then we note at the half life, as I put here at half time, um, the current concentration of a is half of what it was initially. So that means two times the concentration of a is equal to a sub zero. The time at the half life is t sub one half. And we've already said that we're going to assign the time t sub zero to be equal to the value zero. Now we go up and we're going to substitute them into our expression at the top of this slide. So after making our substitution, we get that the A times 0 divided by 2 is equal to the a at time 0 minus k 1 half lifetime. So then uh, we multiply through by a constant of 2. And then we subtract a sub 0 from each side and add 2k half lifetime to each side. And we get that the initial concentration of a is equal to 2 times k times the time t sub 1 half, the half-life time. Then we can simplify by dividing each side by 2, and then dividing each side by the rate constant k, and we get an expression for the half-life time, t sub 1 half, it's equal to the concentration A sub zero, the initial concentration of A, divided by two times the zeroth order rate constant K here. So notice that unlike the first order kinetic reactions, that the uh, half-life depends on the initial concentration of the reactant A, whereas in a first order reaction, the half-life time is independent of the concentration of A.
So therefore, the half-life time for a zeroth order reaction is going to be the initial concentration of the reactant A divided by two times the rate constant K. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one.